So if I have a heat pump installation business and I want to grow my business and get a consistent flow of inquiries, what do you recommend? So with regards to the heat pumps market, it's a, it's a massively growing and trending marketplace. So you've got different types. You've got like air source heat pumps and ground source heat pumps. And I'm sure there's many others over different types. Over at Fat Rank, we generate quite a lot of different inquiries. So if anyone is looking for a lead generation company for heat pumps, head off over to fatrank.com, fill in the details on the contact page and see whether you qualify for getting a consistent flow of inquiries for heat pumps on a day-to-day -day basis. You only pay on converted jobs, so you have nothing to pay for any of the leads, any of the SEO or any of the PPC. That is step number one for any heat pump business owner or what I would recommend them to do because it's zero risk. But, big caveat, I would not throw all your eggs into fat rank basket and saying, that's it, I'm just going to go all in on fat rank generating me 20 leads a day, right? Because the volume might not be there to do 20 a day. So for that reason, you might want to speak to one or two other lead generation companies like Bark or Checker Trade or Builder Builder, Yellow Pages Advertising. But please, be savvy as a business owner, be frugal and make certain that you're getting a return on investment. Don't go buying leads if they're being resold to six other companies and they're not converting for you. The good thing is about fatrank.com and they're exclusive real-time leads. But as you want to grow, try to diversify as much as you can. The next major play is the biggest play for me for growing a heat pump business is search engine optimization. Can you explain a little bit to anyone watching this who, if they are a heat pump business owner, not just the benefits of SEO to ge that, that can generate them more leads and help on trust. But can you explain why they shouldn't be looking on this point about a quick return on investment and how by doing SEO, it can actually get them a bigger multiplier if ever they look to sell the business? Yeah, so when you are like not reliant on a lead generation company, when you actually are generating your own inquiries um, via your, your website or potentially your, your Google business profile, the multiplier of your overall business goes up. So if you ever look to sell that business, which we know a few people in, in that equal renewable space that are looking to build up their business and sell in, let's say, five, six years' time, um, it, it's, it's by all means like the one of the best growth strategies for your business because when somebody looks to actually buy your business, obviously there's an asset value of your business and your staff and your vans and, and your tools and your computers and your office. There's also a website value. And if your website isn't doing anything, it's not generating any leads, um, it's just a homepage with a pretty picture of yourself on, on, on the actual homepage, there's not much value. However, if that business or if that, sorry, if that website is actually generating you, let's say 30 or 40 inquiries every single month, there's an actual asset value to that bit, to that business or to that website. Um, so the multiplier definitely goes up. Um, and then they, the, the, the investor or potentially the, the new business owner that's looking to buy your business can see, ah, okay, they're not just reliant on fat rank or they're just not reliant on bark or check a trader or what, what, wherever you're actually getting your leads from. Cause again, with, um, certain lead generation companies, um, they can just switch you off, um, we obviously don't do that, but just be aware when you are looking to sign up and vet potentially four or five different lead generation companies, they can just switch you off and that's your consistent flow of inquiries gone overnight. Yeah. Um, I think it's very important as well that, you, I mean, Fat Rank could switch you off. Like, if, if I'm being 100% honest, we could do. If, if you're not good enough at converting the leads that we're sending through and you don't respond in a quick way and provide a good service for the leads that we're generating, we're not going to indefinitely keep supplying you as a company for heat pump leads, yeah. right? So when you start looking at it in that way, this is why I talk about the diversification, making certain that you're getting leads from different parts. So the two major plays to grow a heat pump business that we spoke about up to now is teaming up with a few lead generation companies and SEO. Yeah. So a couple of things that I probably wouldn't do, spend too much time on, is traditional marketing. So billboard advertising, TV advertising, radio advertising, magazines. I think that's so 2000. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I think that nowadays, like with, with regards to the right filters in place, with regards to social media ads, social media ads can do much better with the filtering than what actual traditional marketing can, yeah. right? But if I was to do, the two other major plays would be PPC or social media ads or, or organic social media. If I'm going to go down that route, heat pumps have got certain tax relief incentives. So in the renewable energy and decarbonisation uh, industry, within, especially within the UK, I think it's the same in the US as well, in the UK they will give you tax relief right, for decarbonisation and renewable energy. So if you can start to write blog posts at, from an SEO standpoint that's ranking for it within Google and Gray, but then also you might want to be sharing those informative blog posts on social media. You might also want to run some ads through to that blog post. You might want to create a video explaining the next steps that they can do to get tax relief if they're looking to get, let's say, 50% off their bill that the government are going to kind of contribute towards. You could even, if it's a really long tail, start to do PPC. I'm not a massive fan of PPC. I find it quite expensive. What's your thoughts then on that? Yeah, so I, I think the SEO play that, that I would be doing is obviously listing as many services as I can. So, for example, ground source heat pumps, air source heat pumps, heat pumps for commercial, heat pumps for swimming pools, heat pumps from new builds. So those are, those are your services, right? But then I would also, on the, my blog section, be looking to do um, certain tax reliefs, um, if there's certain government grants, for example, I, I would be trying to be the first person to to write about that because, again, like, for example, on the services side, the, the service-based keywords, they might take you, let's say, 12 months to rank. But if you're the first on the blog section, you might actually be able to sneak in and, and rank it, rank very quickly and um, rank pretty high as well. Then um, with that, I would also do do push that as on on social media. So I would be running traffic from Facebook ads through to those certain blog um, articles, educating people and saying like, "Hey, did you know that you can get, let's say, sixty percent off or five k or ten grand or whatever for your um, air source heat pump?" And again, that's another way of just funneling more people into your contact form to for your sales team to essentially just start ringing out. Yeah, for sure. So if you are a business owner of a heat pump business, whether that's ground source heat pumps or air source heat pumps or whatever heat pumps it is that you're doing, we hope you like the tips of what we're saying of how to grow a heat pump business. Make certain you do like diversification. I would make certain that you're doing the SEO and the lead generation play more than the others, but still try to get those tax incentive articles and be sharing those on social media. So we hope you like it. Head up over to fatrank.com, fill in the form and see whether you qualify to get a consistent flow of inquiries for heat pumps.